Anglers go through waves and phases on their fishing journey. I started exclusively fishing for trout across my home state of Oregon. But as an angler, we evolve, fishing outside our comfort zone, challenging our knowledge, fishing unknown waters. The last few years, my angling journey has focused around learning to fish for bass, which I had no idea Oregon had so many good bass fisheries. My home state is known for world-class salmon, steelhead, sturgeon, and trout fisheries. And as I started to research bass fishing in Oregon, I kept finding articles about a smallmouth bass fishery in Eastern Oregon, known as one of the best smallmouth waters in the West Coast, if not the entire United States. So I've hitched the boat, we've headed two hours east, and today we are fishing on the legendary smallmouth fishery on the John Day River. So let's go wet some lines and get after this smallmouth fishery. Yeah, so technical difficulties. Now, I get home from an amazing trip on the John Day River, and I'm going through the content, and lo and behold, there's no sound on any of the content that we filmed for this trip. It all sounds like this. So it turns out that the adapter that plugs into the GoPro that my lapel mic attaches to decided to just yeet itself and stop working and being of existence. So for the whole trip, I thought I was filming, had quality audio for the video on my chest cam that I was wearing for this John Day fishing trip. Turns out I didn't get any of the good audio. So yeah, super frustrating, but for the first part of this video, I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for the segment and first part of the day that we fished. Now, not ideal, but I wanted to share this with you guys at the start of this video because when we're out filmmaking and when we're creating videos, stuff can happen that's out of our control and sometimes in technology, it just freaking breaks. Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. Sometimes you have some shenanigans that goes on and some days it's just technical difficulties that end up just being the pain in your behind. So let's get back to the big bite action on this trip on the John Day River. So it's just after 6 a.m. We pull up to the first spot. It's nice, calm, got a little bit of wind on the water. I decided to go with the wacky rig with a cinnamon colored Guggen bait lunker log in the five inch with a little bit of like a 3 16 ounce jig head, figuring to get that bait down there in the water deep and quick. As you guys can see, the view is absolutely freaking gorgeous. The canyon, the John Day River on the east side of Oregon is just beautiful. You got sunny skies, you got the hills over there. I had turkeys gobbling in the background as we were doing some jigging with the wacky rig. And on the first cast, nothing but figured out, you know what, I'm gonna throw it out there. Just try some different things, try some different colors to see what's gonna work today. So then cast number two, send it out with the wacky rig, jigging it a little bit, letting that bait drop to the bottom, just trying to figure out what's going on. And I start reeling in and lo and behold, kapuya! I got a bite right next to the boat and then just completely lost it. I was just in shock that somehow as reeling in, something bit my bait. So then after that first bite, I was throwing spinner baits. I was throwing crank baits. I had shaky heads. I went back to the wacky rig setup, just trying some different stuff, just slow rolling the crank baits, slow rolling the spinner baits, trying to find the technique, the speed of what these bass wanted. It was really interesting throughout the day. The conditions changed, but that early morning part figured it would be a slow bite, just trying to get a bite in the slow moving current water. We were in about 14 to 15 feet here where the boat was up into the bank. There was rock. There was a little bit of grass. There was sticks and stones in the water. There was kind of like a little bit of everything that you wanted. But as I'm going through here, just picking apart every little piece of the river here. And again, this part looked the absolute juiciest when we pulled up to it. And a couple hours later, after driving around, we pulled back up to the spot and we definitely found them. You going? You on? Finally got one, huh? Is it a good one? Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Finally our first fish of the day. There it is. You want a nut nut job? <laughs> Hang on. You hit it twice? Hang on, I gotta put this down for a second. It's a decent sized one. Oh yeah. There we go. 
skunks off the Johnson boat. We got our Donald first, Navy. our first John Day bass. Richie ends up hooking him. Look at that creature. Nice fish. Yeah, yeah. What'd you catch him on? Yeah, a little crazy little uh, Ned rig hook with a swim bait. First John Day Smalley. <laughs> Finally. Finally Whoa. freaking got one. See you, Sally. Good bite. Hit twice. <laughs> Missed it the first time, came back and got it the second one. Woo. On the board, skunks out of the boat. Yee! Well, it took us a couple hours just driving around, fishing some spots, just came back to a spot we were confident in and Richie got one. So we're on the board, we got our first John Day bass. That's awesome. So I am gonna keep on fishing because I'm still looking for my first bass from the John Day. So I gotta get my grub back in the water, see if we can't get a small mouth bass. How are you? Oh no, I'm I'm actually, I'm, well, I had to put my stuff down. So I'm, got another one. Are you kidding? This one hit it so gently, but my line started to go sideways. This small oh, guy. Man. Oh damn! I mean, sinking. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. Um, what's going on? Okay, so it's like, <laughs> like the same fish, just with black eyes instead of red eyes, that we just caught literally. A minute ago this one's a bit bigger in terms of belly yeah but nice. yeah go <laughs> there we go all right see you sally go hang out with sally jr right oh now. come on <laughs> i let you go <laughs> both of them will i caught along the, the rocky edge right there i think we need to get a rock Right where we saw that pot of fish on the graph, huh? This grub doesn't have any action on it. Want one of my swim I don't know. I might have to in here in a second if I don't get a bite. I'm coming to your left. I mean, I don't know. I just threw, I'm mean, throwing it out there. I threw right where you just were. Because yep. this little grub I have is not really doing it. Unless so I should get a pink head or something, I don't know. Got another one. What the hell is going on? Right in that rocky spot. Literally right where I... Literally... Oh, baby. This one's bigger. Got a chungus? It's, I mean, it's definitely bigger. Richie's absolutely destroying today. Oh, that is a large, oh, what is up? <laughs> yeah. This net is there heavy. What in the awesome. world? Like see here out on the John Day River, baby. Oh there my go. gosh. Look at yeah. the size of that fish. That is a chungus. Yeah. That's what we came looking for. Dude. Holy crap, got this a nice been chilling. <laughs> oh, is she gonna lock in at 28291? About 288. Dude, that's a chungus. Nicely done. 288. <laughs> there we go. Alright, Billy, back you go. I'm snagged. I don't know. I don't know. It's up fighting back like a fish, so it's a oh, stick. A stick fish. Stick fish. Yeah, um, you hear my reel? I. That's, yeah.
So after catching those three smallmouth bass, we drove around looking for different spots to get out of the wind. And yeah, had to munch on some Cheetos, get a little fuel we in me, fish rock walls, we fished different techniques, just drove around trying to find everything. It became super difficult to fish, so we packed it up after 10 hours of fishing and headed back to the ramp. Well guys, if I had to describe in one word today's experience, it's humble pie. And yeah, if you guys can hear from the wind in the microphone, it's absolutely howling out here on the river. And you know what? It was still an awesome day. Even though I didn't get a fish into the boat, I got a bite right away. Richie got three really nice smallmouth, and those are really good size. And for this time of the year, that's what we're going for on the John Day River. That's what we were chasing. And I hope anytime you guys are in Oregon, you get a boat or get out with a guide or just get out here to the river, that you can enjoy the John Day as well. It's one of the most elegant, most beautiful rivers in Oregon and has a ton of smallmouth year round that you guys can catch. Today wasn't about getting 20, 30 bites. We were just going to explore a new river. We're fishing a new place I had never fished before. And sometimes, that's just part of the experience. And you know what? Showcasing that we didn't catch 20 fish, that it was a struggle. I went 10 hours today, only got one bite. And that's what I love about this channel. We can be authentic. We can show you guys that it's not all about just catching 10 fish every single time on every single video. That's not what I want to do. I want to show the goods, the bads, the uglies, and the what nots to do, and the what to do, do and what to do on this channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's John Day bass fishing adventure. This is not going to be the last time we hit the John Day. Richie and I have got other plans to get back on the river here, go explore some new areas, and hopefully we land on some big bites and can show you guys the best of what this amazing river in Oregon has to offer. So thank you guys for watching today's episode. Hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. And as always, you guys, the outdoors is a gift. Share it with others.